Hi, it's Sandy Parker, and welcome to Crafting for Almost Everyone. Today we're going to look at a haul. I hope you'll stay tuned. Well, this company called GBFKE.com, they're a diamond painting company, contacted me and asked me if I would like to try some of their products, and then they graciously sent me some. So I thought I would share them with you, and then I would also show you some of them finished. So before I get started, let me tell you that they have some good deals right now. They have buy two, get one free. They have a group that are below $3.99. They have a group that's $4.99 to $6.99. So they have some really good prices. And um, I really like, as you know, the journals and smaller things that I can do quickly and use as gifts. I'm also, uh, they've also sent me some things that I can do as a giveaway, so I thought I would show you those as well. First off, they have this little bear. Let's get that out of the way. This little bear that comes with its frame and everything, and it's a wooden frame. It's really cute. Of course, I'll show you the sizes and everything. Ooh, it's little, which is great, you know, because if you want to do a little, a little gift for a child, it is finished. It looks like this, and finished it will be almost five inches square, a little bit under five inches square. And then of course you've already got your frame. Put that, oops. I'll put this right here so you can see it. And then the colors. There are lots of really pretty uh, blues and greens. I don't know if you can see those or not, but they're lovely. I'm excited about doing this. And um, if you know anything about diamond painting, something like this you should be able to do in an hour or so, maybe two hours. Um, it's it's not a lot of work and it should be pretty quick and easy. It'd be great for a little kid to do because you've got all the components that after they're done, they can just put it up on their, uh, on their dresser. I also wanted to tell you that I always put the links below the video. I'm sure if you watch my channel, you know that. But I want to make sure I tell you that because you know, I sometimes forget. So here is the bear finished. I think he's adorable. And um, I really loved, I have to be honest, these diamonds in this bear were by far the nicest diamonds I've ever worked with. They were beautiful. They were really, um, they were just really, really nice quality lovely diamonds. I And there's a bunch of different sizes. I don't know if you can see that in there. The only thing I wasn't crazy about is my plexiglass on this. It seemed like it was a little bit hazy for some reason. So um, that was disappointing. But the the image itself is absolutely gorgeous. And let me let me take it out just so you can see that because it is really cool. And all it gives you the directions. Well, actually, it just has a little arrow that says cut. You know, like shows you cut. But look how gorgeous these diamonds are. Aren't they pretty? I don't think you get the whole effect of how really vibrant these colors are when you have it in the frame. And hopefully, let me let me put this here. Can you see? Maybe if I hit the angle right, can you see the scratches in those? I was disappointed in that, and I thought maybe that it was like a protective coating, but it isn't. You can feel the scratches in there, and I uh, did tell the company about it because, you know, that's kind of not something you'd expect, and I was disappointed in that. But to be on the, to be honest, I considered not even putting the, that in and just having the, the uh, bear in there, you know, with, without the glass. So it's up to you if you want to do it that way. You certainly can. The only reason that I leave the glass in is because you don't get the dust in your, um, on your little painting where you would have. I'll show you that one more time. There's the little bear. I think he's adorable. Then this is one of our giveaways. It's going to be an owl journal. I'll pull it out of the bag. I love how these journals always come in uh, like a zip zip bag with everything in it. So it's going to look like this. And of course it comes with everything you need. And here are the diamonds that go with it. I'm going to pull them out so you can actually see 
the different shapes you get. I like that about journals because you get these cool shapes, not just round ones, you get all kinds of different shapes. And you also get like, there's pearls and then there's these great big green uh, teardrop shape. And then there are uh, marquee shaped greener, like uh, lime green. Then there are teardrop shaped in uh, like a uh, peachy gold. And then the rest are all round except for, well, they're round, but they're pearls. So really pretty colors. This we're going to be giving away. And I'll give you all that information at the end. I always like it when companies give me things to give away. It makes me happy. These are um, bookmarks, but I, I think I'm going to incorporate them into cards. So I might... Um, Oh, no, these are the ones I got for my sister. Uh, you know, she loves Mother Mary, and th this came in a two-pack. So um, I'll be making those, and I don't think I'll put make those into a card. I might. I could make their birthday cards with those. You never know. We'll wait and see. And now that they have those slimline cards, this will fit on it perfectly, I'll bet. It is a little bit under 8 inches by two and a quarter inches. This is a bigger bookmark than I've ever seen before. It's really cool. And then of course they come with tassels so that you can put them in your book. Here's another journal. And this one doesn't have lined pages. I don't think any of these have lined pages. They have, I think they have 50 pages in them. And they're five and three quarters inches wide by about eight and a quarter inches tall. So they're good size. So then I finished this journal. I really thought it was cute. I liked the colors. I thought they were really vibrant. You could use this if you wanted to. If you were if you were going to do it for this, I would suggest using a glue stick and gluing two of them together. But um, I would bet that you could use this to do some stamping and coloring on if you wanted to. But I would definitely want the pages to be doubled up if I did that. Anyway, I thought that was really pretty. I like to use them, well, when I did go on vacation, I like to use them as a vacation journal. And then you can, you know, you have 50 pages that, for me, I could write that much on one trip. Because I always write all the antics and things that go wrong with Rich and I on travel, so it, that takes a lot of space. This one is um, a mandala and lots of pretty colors again. They're all the same size, so I don't have to tell you the sizes again. And this one is finished. Also really pretty. Same exact deal. Um, I had trouble getting this one in and out of the bag. That's all my bad because I wanted to tell you why this corner is kind of screwed up. That's my problem because when I, when I, uh, when you have these zipper bags that they come in, for some reason I, you know, can't get my books in and out of them. So um, sometimes I don't even put them back in. Clearly, it went in like butter that time. Anyway. So next up we have, um, I think this is, oh yeah, these are magnets, I think, that go on your refrigerator. You know how I love food-inspired things. These are like burgers and fries. I thought they'd be so much fun. And the, um, the entire diamond painting, in this case, is magnetized. There's the hamburger. There's your little uh, tropical drink, some french fries, and what is that popcorn? I'm not sure. I think that might be popcorn, but I might be making that up. What do you think that is? We'll know when it's finished, right? So um, you get five of those, and the popcorn, we're calling it popcorn from now, is two inches wide by about two and a half inches tall. The french fries are a little bit over two inches, probably about two and a half inches actually at the widest point, and about two and a half inches tall. The drink is two inches tall, a little bit under two inches tall. Yeah, a little bit under two inches tall, and at its widest point, about an inch and a half. The burger is the biggie. It's about two and three quarters inches wide by about two and a quarter inches tall. This is the magnet set. I'm going to be making a card with this set, well, with a couple of the pieces. Um, I'm going to make a card for my girlfriend that says, want to do lunch, and I'm going to put the burger and the fry on it. I thought that'd be fun. 
although I could put the lemonade in the middle too. I could make it on one of those slimline cards. I don't know, I haven't decided. And then the last thing is popcorn. I didn't think the popcorn really went with the other, but then again, I'm not sure this drink goes with the, the food thing, but they're all really fun and really the, the uh, diamonds on them are really bold and bright and beautiful. So um, love that set. And this is one of my favorites. It's a very abstract giraffe and I think he's really cute. And I'm gonna, what my plan is for him is I think I'm gonna try and uh, figure out a way to just cut, up, cut it off before that dot so that I can for that whole dot that hole right there I don't want the hole on there if I can if I can avoid it because I'd like to put it on the front of a card and then make it so that they can take it off but I I don't know I don't, I don't like the idea of the hole I think it just ruins the look just saying the next thing I finished was the giraffe I thought he re really looked cute and he does have the little hole at the top to make him into a bookmark which and he comes with a, a tassel that you can put on him. I think I'm going to put this on a slimline card and say something like what's up or something like that in the you know for the um, front of the card and I thought it'd be really fun to do that with maybe have a really colorful um, bright uh, with the, the same type colors uh, background that's what I think I'm going to do. But anyway, if I do that, I do think I'm going to cut that off because I don't know if I want that on there. Here's another Mandala album. I like them. They're colorful, pretty. And now we get into two different peacocks that are um, bookmarks. One that's uh, straight up and one that's kind of turned a little bit. You can see that. I think it came out really cool. Here's what I did differently with this one. There was glue right there where the hole is and I just stuck one of the diamonds there. It was it went in with the the um, other big blue pieces that are in the rest of it so I figured I would just hide that little hole with that. I liked it. And the very last thing is really going to be pretty. Um, I did have one of these before. It's a lamp and it's very colorful and it's really easy to put together. All you do, maybe I can show you in the picture. There's the picture of it finished. And all you do once it's finished is inside here, they give you the, they give you the bulbs and you attach the diamond painting to this backing and then inside here you would put two batteries and then these cut, go into the little holes where these attach from the front very easy and um, it's really they're really pretty when they're done then the last thing I finished so far of course is the light and I'm gonna put some batteries in it so you can see it lit. So I hope you can see that it with the little lights lit and if you want to you can okay of course you won't be able to see it but uh, you can stand it up or there's a hole in the back right there that you can hang it uh, if you can see that with the lights off but um, the lights are it's supposed to be like a night light and I do think it would work well for that because it's a very dim light perfect for a nightlight scene and um, I thought I would give this to a friend of my mom's who likes red flowers and red things so I thought I would give that to her. The drawing is going to be on August 15th and it's I'd like you to um, leave a comment below the video that says either I would like to have the owl or I would like to have the peacock and um, on the uh, evening of the 15th we'll uh, count down the comments and um, do that random drawing online you know, they, they cho choose a random number and that number in the comment will be the one that wins it you'll have to give me your email address if I don't have it already so that I can contact you so that um, you know that I can tell you you're the winner and I want to make sure that the winners send me their address 
via email after that by the 25th of August or I'll choose another winner because sometimes when we have a winner they don't contact me back and if you don't then I'm going to pass it on to the next person in line because I want somebody to win them so those are the things that we're having in our drawing I hope that you enjoyed this that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe and please tell your friends about me on social media because you know I love that and thanks so much for watching bye bye